Matthew chapter 9. I will read from verse 32 to verse 35. The Bible says, As they went out, behold, they, they brought to him a dumb man possessed with the devil. And when the devil was cast out by Jesus, the dumb spake. And the multitudes marveled, saying, It was never so seen. In Israel, Jesus Christ made them to see what they never saw before that time. Now, but the Pharisees said, He casts out devils through the prince of the devils. If it was so, they should do, do the same. Did they? They didn't, they couldn't. Verse 35 Jesus went about all the cities and the villages teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. They had shepherds, they had pastors, but they were as good as having none because those pastors were incompetent, powerless, empty noisemakers, teachers, that taught words that they couldn't, you know, make clear in the life of the people. Jesus said to his disciples, the harvest tool is plenteous. Those to be healed are many. Those to be free from demonic oppression are many. Those to be set free from blindness are many. The harvest tool is plenteous. Those that should be gathered out of the hands of the devil are many. Those that should be recovered from the pit of hell, there are many. Those that should be de de delivered from the bondage to satanic oppression. There are many. The harvest tool is plenteous, but the laborers are few. The noisemakers are many. The teachers are many. The talkers are many. The cheap newscasters are many. The proclaimers are many. The prophets that prophesy, even though they prophesy lies, there are many. Those that tell you all kinds of lies, there are many. But the workers, the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he would send forth laborers into his service. Let's pray for the replacement of those wicked pastors and shepherds who are talking trash while the people of them are suffering and fainting. The will of God is not for any sheep or any, part, any flock or any child of God to suffer. If you are a pastor and those under you are sick and you can't help them, you are not called. You are one of those Christ that should be sent back in. And I'm here to announce that the era is here now. When all those who are occupying space, milking the flock dry and letting them die, they milk them dry, chop the meat, and they let them die. Time has come when they must be sacked. Christ said, the play, pray for their replacement. Pray for the replacement of those who are not doing the work, who are doing the talk. They are talking the talk. They are not doing the work. Jesus showed us the work. They brought to him a dumb man possessed with a devil. And he cast out the devil and healed that dumb man. And he spoke. Jesus went about all the cities and all the villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom. They come in now of the kingdom. They come in the present of the kingdom of God, of heaven. Heaven has come. The king has come. The almighty father has come. Jesus is here. The word, the living word made flesh that dwelt amongst us is here. The Holy Ghost is here. So the Godhead left heaven and came to earth in the person of Christ. And if we are born again, we, got, we carry God's name, God is our father. The Godhead dwells in us. The fullness of the Godhead God the Father, Son, and Spirit. They are one. Dwelt in Christ bodily. And we are complete in Christ. In other words, we have all of the Godhead. He says, if anybody shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God himself dwells in him. 1 John 4, 15. If God dwells in us, and we have Christ in us, Galatians 2, 20, and the Holy Ghost dwells in us, 1 Corinthians 3, 16, we have the Godhead, the fullness of the Godhead dwells in so we ought to understand this and go empowered to deliver the world from every bondage of Satan. Jesus said, the talkers are many. 
but the workers are few. Replace all the talkers with the workers. And I'm speaking today authoritatively as Christ's ambassador, pretty potentially. And every noise maker there making noise, causing problems in the church, you are sacked. In Jesus' mighty name, ambassadors have come. Ambassadors are here. Jesus Christ has ordained his ambassadors. Christ's ambassadors living mission is here. We are here as Christ's ambassadors on his living mission. This is Jesus' mission. All that Christ came to do, all that Christ once done, and all that Christ will do, if he were here right now, he has sent us to do in this commission and from this commission. That's why we're not here to play. I speak again to them. I release laborers in the name of Jesus Christ. But I ask you again for a fresh release of laborers. Laborers who will go and labor. Not talk as who will talk and go. There are many who are talking and going. And they defend their powerlessness by their empty talks. Today I pray that all of them who are talking empty words, making mouth, and doing nothing, that all of them be sacked and that they be replaced with laborers who will heal the sick, open the eyes of the blind. You said to the people you called, after you say you called the 12 and gave them power against unclean spirits, chapter 10, verse 1, to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. And you said to them, Go, preach that the kingdom has come, verse 7. As you go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven has come. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils, freely have received, freely give. You said to them, provide neither gold, nor silver, nor brass in your purses, nor scrip for your journey, neither two coats, neither shoes, nor ye staves, for the workman, the workman, not the talkman, the workman, not the talkman, not the talkman. The workman, not the talk man, not the talk man, T A L K M A N. No, the workman, W O R O K M A N. The workman, not the workman, not the W A L K M A N. Not the talk man, not the workman, but the workman. The workman is worthy of his meat. That means they should be paid. They are going to collect tithes and offerings. Every pastor, every preacher who is collecting tithes and offerings and is not casting out devils, healing the sick, raising the dead, freeing the captives, doing the works Christ did. He is a robber. He is a thief. He is an illegitimate shepherd, milking them dry and killing them or causing them to die. Because if they can give tithes and offerings and you are not setting them free from their problems, they will die. They will die. They will die premature and many have died. And I decree every minister who is responsible in any form or for the death of these people who are dying prematurely under them because of their inability to exercise power and authority to set them free. I decree that they be replaced. Let laborers be sent forth who will do this work and let them be paid. And those who are there milking the sheep dry and causing them to die, may they be sacked. May they be replaced in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. I call it down. If you have any need that you know is not beyond Christ to meet, please get in touch with Christ, Ambassador's Living Mission International, also known as Jesus Mission Equalers. We are not here to talk trash. We are here for your needs to be met. And God has made provisions for you. Everything that pertains to life and godliness, he has given us. Every good gift and every perfect gift we need has been released from heaven. It's only that people who are in the church are mismanaging God's resources in their care, taking it as their personal things, what is meant for all. People are thieves, most miserable are thieves. They are robbing the people of God dry. Just like Achan, just like Gazi, just like Judas Iscariot. They are thieves. There are many spiritual thieves today. Many pastors are spiritual as thieves who collect what is meant for all as theirs. They will be sacked. Watch it. They will be sacked. Mark my words. They will be sacked. Very soon you will see them again. Those who will do the work, the worker, the workmen, the laborers have come. And they will take over everywhere. The talkers, the noisemakers, the newscasters, the commentators, they will be sacked. Those who are watching the sheep devoured and destroyed, they will be sacked. The laborers are few. The noisemakers are many. And all the noisemakers must go. And the laborers must replace them. That's where we are right now. Welcome to a new era. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.